What's the difference between a Chassid and a Kabbalah studies professor? He says, what's the difference between an accountant and a Balabas? He says, the accountant, his whole day he's immersed in numbers. And every one of those numbers represents money, a dollar, a cent. And he knows exactly how much to the penny came in and went out. And he knows the whole day he's following those numbers. He knows exactly what money came in, what money went out. But at the end of the day, he closes his accounting books and he goes home and he doesn't have the money. It's not his money. Now the Balabos, the guy who owns the company, who hired the accountant, he looks at the books once a week, once a month, whatever. He knows how much is coming in, how much is going. He doesn't know to the penny. He does not know all those numbers. But it's his money. He says, the Kabbalah professor, he knows every letter of Zayr. But he goes home in Nebuch. It's not his. It's not his treasure, unfortunately. Because he doesn't look at it that way. The Chassid, what does a Chassid know from Zayr? You know, you know, Kigavna. <laughs> Whatever is a Dura Maschal of a Maimer. Yeah, you can get started a little bit. Reisha Manusa, the Malka, Golov, Galifu, the Tahiri Eloi. Oh, that's about it. You know, that's about as far as you can get. Zaya, you know. But it's my book. It belongs to me. That everything that's stated in that Sefer is Yisparnasun Mine. That's what I live off of. That's how I look at life. 